So this short video should be on the gross anatomy of a long bone. And here we're looking at probably the archetypal long bone, which is the femur. Um, the shaft of the bone is the diaphysis. And at the ends are the epiphyses, or singular epiphysis. So if we take a look here at this uh, cross-section of the head and neck of the femur with the trochanters, um, we can see spongy bone filling in all of this area. And it probably is pretty hard to see on the video, but right through here is an epiphyseal line, right, which is the scar of the epiphyseal plate or epiphyseal cartilage, which was where the bone was growing um, as, this, as this bone went from adolescence to adulthood. Um, and that was endochondral ossification occurring there. At the ends of the epiphysis is going to be some articular cartilage, and then surrounding the bone is periosteum, which is a connective tissue. Uh, and you, you won't see that on any of our bones because they've all been cleaned up. On the perimeter of the bone or around the circumference, we can see the compact bone, which is going to contain lots of osteons. Um, and then in the center of the diaphysis, you can see how the spongy bone disappears to leave that medullary cavity. So uh, we might have red marrow or yellow marrow in the medullary cavity, depending on which bones we're talking about. Remember that the yellow marrow is mostly fat storage, and the red marrow is involved in blood formation. 